Hi, uh, my name is Leon. I work for Intel. I'm a senior software cloud architect. And my name is Craig Sterrett, and I'm a senior software engineer with Intel. Yeah, today um, we are here to talk about the workload reference architectures. So I was given a couple of questions that I want to share with you. So first of all, what is the workload reference architectures? And why are they needed? So um, basically a workload reference architecture is a series of um, workload that we want a lot of users to, to be deployed on the OpenStack cloud. So it can be, it's very generally focused on a user level and tenant level, tenant level workload. So I think a lot of people are interested on deploying, for example, a LAMP stack or a big data workload or database workload on the OpenStack, but they're just wondering how to do that. So in this workload reference architecture, we'll provide a, a series of um, articles uh, to share with the audience on how to deploy those workloads on and what kind of components required for, to, in order to support those workloads. So maybe uh, Craig can tell me uh, how are these workloads being created? So the workloads are being created out of the enterprise work group. Um, they were a request from the users to have a workload reference architecture that they can use to learn from and, and uh, figure out how to design the, the reference architecture, their, set up their architectures. All right. So what kind of workloads are available today? Um, currently, there's two that have been published. Uh, there's the web applications uh, architecture, mm -hmm. and there's the big data architecture. And then in the next couple of weeks, we'll have one out for, for e-commerce. So um, tell me something about the tools that's being made available for the workload. Um, so the web applications architecture is a LAMP stack architecture, and it uh, in the it comes complete with a heat template that the users can use to reproduce the, the architecture in their own environment. And the heat template will go and install uh, WordPress on uh, a LAMP stack. Yeah. So um, moving forwards, I mean, uh, the Enterprise Working Group is continuing to working on this workload reference architecture. So we plan to provide more workload, including like um, media transcoding, um, database, RDBMS system and hybrid cloud model or container. So stay tuned and we continue to look at this um, workload reference architecture. Hopefully that those information is very useful for you all. Thank you very much.